How's it going, everyone? It's Daikin Sadi here, bringing you another Melchie Blood type Lunar video. Today, we're going to be doing the highly requested Ushi God. So, we're going to be breaking down her normals, her specials, her supers, her moon drives, and give you a few combos to get started as always. So let's go ahead and start talking about everything Ushi. Starting off with Ushi's A normal, so her 5A is going to be pretty standard, just like most jabs is going to be able to cancel into itself three times before it actually enables the auto combo. Same thing with the 2A, pretty standard jab. Uh, three times will activate the second hit of the auto combo talking about ushi's b normals her 5b is going to be her standard mid slash attack this move actually moves forward very slightly it's very hard to see but it actually does move forward if i keep pressing the button you'll notice that it's slowly itching towards the count himself and eventually it will connect so there's a slight movement forward for this move 2b is actually going to be able to hit a little bit further than this so where this doesn't hit like right here this will hit like probably like right this distance this don't hit but this does so 2b is going to be a little bit further so if you need a button that's going to be a little bit further away that's going to hit a little bit further then 2b is going to be the answer for you talking about ushi b normal so 5b is going to be our standard mid slash attack right here this actually does move her slightly forward so if i keep pressing the button you'll see it slowly inches towards the count himself and eventually it will find his martin connect her 2B is going to be a button that actually has a little bit more range than her 5B. So at this range where the 5B probably won't connect, the 2B will. So it has a little bit more range. So if you do need a little bit of extra range, 2B will be the button you will be looking for. Talking about Uchi C normals, if you need more range than your B normals, then look no further because her C normals are definitely going to be her furthest reaching normals. So 5C is going to be the standard slash attack right here. This big slash attack has some pretty nice range for her. And then 2C is going to be this attack here. Now, notice about 2C is it actually is not a low. So, her only lows are going to be 2A and 2B when it comes to her normals. 2C is not going to be a low. 2C also has another unique property that you should know about. So, unlike most 2Cs in the game, this does not launch the opponent. This actually just does a hit. So, a lot of lows, you know, if you do a low, if I say do a low with count, this will actually sweep the opponent off their feet and cause a knockdown. Hers is unique in the fact that it just keeps the opponent standing and allows her to do other things. Now, as far as her ground normals go, 2C is going to be her furthest reaching. But keep in mind, because this is her furthest reaching, if you try to go into anything from like 5C at max range, you won't be able to do that. But we'll talk about answers from things like this later on. Now, normally these two normals I'm about to talk about, I normally don't go into in my videos. But these are pretty unique in far as Uchi case. So her auto combo, the second hit, actually makes her cross up. And yes, this will even steal the corner. This will come important much later when we're talking about certain setups and stuff that Ushi can actually do. The 3C for her is actually going to be a brand new unique normal compared to other characters 3C that is just used from the last hit of their auto combo. So her last hit of her auto combo, she does the sweep, which pushes her back actually in front. And then she sort of goes backwards like that. But her 3C is actually this wind attack. So it's slightly different uh, than her or much different <laughs> than her actual last hit of her auto combo. So just keep in mind that she got a pretty unique animation for her 3C. Ushi jump A is going to be your standard air to air attack. So this is going to be your fast air to air button. So if the opponent is close to you and you expect them to jump with you or you see them up in the air and they're right beside you, J A is definitely going to be the button to press for sure. J B is going to be your button, your best air to ground button. So if you're trying to jump in on your opponent, this is probably the button that you're going to want to do when you're coming in right on their head. J C is going to be your best space out button. So when you're trying to create space from the opponent, if they're coming in, this button will be it. Or if you're trying to reach the opponent, at a higher height or you're much further away like say at this distance and you want to try to hit them this will probably be the button that you'll want to press keep in mind it does not hit crouches that well it can hit crouches when you're right on them but it's not going to be the button you're trying to come in with so you're going to want you want to come in with the jb instead because it's going to have a much easier time connecting with his opponent when they're on the ground especially when they're crouching Ushi's j2c is going to be this downward stab attack that actually has mad active frames pretty much all the way down to the ground so you can pretty much just use this all the way from the air and it will pretty much connect with the opponent now, she has a charge version of this, which actually bounces her off the ground like this. So, if it hits the opponent, it'll actually cause a ground bounce. Now, the unique thing about this is that you actually retain your air options after you do it. So, you still have access to your jump and your air dash, but you also have access to additional button presses. So, you can bounce off the opponent on block and it still do something like this into another air dash. So, it'll look something similar to this just like that so you have access to some pretty unique pressure structure because of the way this actually connects with the opponent another important thing to know about her j2c is that it actually retains her movement so if you do it from like a super jump it actually will retain that sort of velocity and the actual like air dash version as well but the other version the charge version actually has a halting momentum so if i do a super dash and i do it see how she just immediately goes down to the ground after a certain point she just stops right there right so even if you super jump from like here the charge version can help you out because you won't overshoot. So if you do the charge version, you'll basically hit your mark as long as you know the distance and where this hits. 
uh, as far as like when it actually dropped down because once again if i do the actual non-charge version notice how it has a sort of a different sort of velocity it doesn't actually do that down bar so just keep that in mind that the j2c version of uh, the charge version actually has a point where it actually just comes down really fast now also in the air ushi also have access to a unique movement option which is basically this fastball right here so no matter when you are in the air if you press 2 a b so basically the move that you would use for your air dash so the command air dash uh you can actually do a fastball so just like this so you can fastball and go for many things like throws or go for a low all different types of things that we're going to talk about much later once we get to the actual combo and set play section last thing about ushi normals that i forgot to mention is that she actually have access to a charge 5c this is not an overhead but it does cause a ground bounce on the hit which is going to allow her to get some extra damage from some combo opportunities that we're going to talk about later now moving on to ushi special moves talking about what i believe to be one of the most important tools in her kit her 236a series so we're going to be talking about the command dash run and all the follow-ups on this so right off the bat the first thing if you just don't press anything it is going to just do this and she's going to flip backwards this is pretty much highly unsafe though at minus 17 so you kind of really pretty much want to always go into something but yeah this is definitely an option you could just do the a version if you press a afterwards is going to do this flip overhead and this is going to be safe at minus four so you can do it immediately and make it a true block string and it's going to be minus four however if you delay it you'll notice she does a different like jump arc she comes down extremely fast much later and this is actually going to make you plus all the way up to plus five so you can get a lot of frame advantage if you simply delay when you actually do this now of course doing that is going to be risky because the opponent can actually just mash but this is where other follow-ups are going to come in handy if you decide to press b then you get access to the actual shadow clone and get to choose which side you want to be on if you just press b you'll always go to the opposite side and if you press back b you'll stay in front of the opponent now when it comes to these what i found to be the case is the best normal you can press here or the fastest normal you can press is going to be 2a at this distance that's the closest thing they could actually hit and from the back one the best thing you can press is 2b at that distance as far as like what can hit the fastest in a corner this will work a little bit differently because their clone can act not actually cross up so if you just do the 5b version you'll be directly in the opponent's face and if you do the back version you'll be at this distance once again once again at this distance as well you can also press 5b at this time instead so you're going to be a little bit closer to where you can do that once again here you're not going to be able to press that 5b because of the distance right but in the corner you actually get access to that 5b so if you want to press 5b instead of 2b you can do that in the corner situation and of course with this version with the uh version interface you can pretty much press any button that you want in this case now all the options we talked about so far with delaying the a for the plus frames or doing these tricky total teleports and stuff like that all this seemed like it could be mashed out right so there is a risk involved as far as how this go however there is one option that can stop all of this and that will be the c option which is going to be invincible on startup and this is actually going to actually be something that the opponents cannot block in the air so if they try to block this in the air they'll actually get hit out of the air this is air unblockable and invincible and the thing about it is the time cancel window is really long compared to this so just like the time window is long on this the time window is also long on this so when you think the opponent is going to press a button you can just get the invincibility whenever you want just like that and then sort of stop them in the tracks and launch them for a full combo to so just showcase what something like this would look like i have him on guard and he's set to jump you'll see the air unblockable happens and then we can pick that up for a combo that we'll talk about later ushi's 236b is going to be the command run but it's going to actually do a low attack that's going to be relatively safe at minus six so at this distance pretty body pretty much nobody is going to have a six frame button that is going to punish you at this distance so it's a pretty good move and it's going to actually give you a launch on hit now to go along with this she also has a charge version of this which is going to make it into an overhead so you have the regular low version and then you have the overhead version that you actually do and you could pick this overhead up with it spinning one bar and pick it up for a full combo which once again we'll talk about a little bit later now talking about ushi 623 series starting off with her 623a which i think is a highly underrated tool this is going to be something that is going to be air unblockable and it's going to be jump cancelable on whiff hit and block so on block jump hit on whiff also you could jump just like that and on hit is going to be a much earlier cancel window than the ones on whiff or block because you could pretty much do it immediately but just the fact that you could do it on hit whiff or block is absolutely insane and once again i got counter block in the air but if i do this attack 
no blocking in the air and you get a full combo opportunity off of it which we'll talk about once again a little bit later 63b is going to be something of a similar stature it's still going to be air unblockable however it's not going to have access to those jump cancelable options like we were talking about before on any of the hits hit or uh, hit block or on whip is not going to have access to those and it's going to be pretty much something that's going to be hard to combo up of outside of the corner itself on hit however it does cover a different distance than the other one that we were just talking about the 63a version just keep that in mind this one goes more uh, upwards this one actually goes more vertical so you can actually cover uh, more screen space with the b version is just not going to actually be something that's going to be easy to convert now one thing that 63b allows for is allows for wall bounces in the corner this is going to allow you to get some big damage output because of this actually doing a wall bounce in the corner it's also going to be very good because it covers a certain angle like this when people are trying to jump out of the corner so we take a block string like this and you see the opponent trying to jump back simply just air tie air him with that and you get a lot of good damage so this is going to give you a big damage opportunity from actually just anti-airing them with this tool because of the wall bounce situation ushi 214a is going to be pretty unique in the fact that it makes her go into this sort of stance now during this stance she has two follow-ups that she can actually do the a follow-up is going to be similar to the dp that we were talking about the a version of dp like that but instead she goes into a stance before she does it this is also going to have the same properties of being able to be jump cancel on hit block or whiff so you don't have to worry about anything there so pretty much almost like the same thing uh it just goes into a stance before you actually do it the b version is going to be this actual dash attack this attack is going to be pretty safe on block at only minus two but it actually can be up to plus two if you space it right so your fastest normal is going to be 5a so you're most likely going to be trying to press 5a after this to basically get a counter hit on your opponent that doesn't realize that you actually probably got the plus version you'll notice that the b follow-up with the 214a series actually does a cross up when it's actually close enough however this will not cross up in the corner so keep that in mind on a hit this will actually launch the opponent up in the air and you'll be able to follow this up for a full combo 214b is going to be similar to 214a b version and that is going to be this dashing slash attack that actually has the ability to cross up once again this will not cross up in the corner as well so just keep that in mind this is also going to be more unsafe on block you have to keep that in mind that you actually cannot make this version plus the main difference for this version is it actually causes a crumple state so if you connect with the opponent on hit you'll crumb the opponent and if you press a button fast enough you can actually pick it up for a full combo so this would be something pretty good if you got your back to the wall and you want to put your opponent in the corner you can do something similar to like this and basically put them in the corner ushi 22 series is going to be a series of backwards teleport so the a version is going to make her teleport back just like this and it's going to be the low clone if you do the b version she's going to teleport backwards but also come in with a command dash afterwards and then the c version is going to be the upwards clone and she is going to hop at the opponent at a certain angle keep in mind off the 2-2c version you still have access to one of your jumps and you can jump cancel it anytime that you want also you can actually fast fall this to try to make sure that you have a different angle so maybe the opponent is probably going to try to anti-air you you can actually fast fall and then try to punch them accordingly this is also pretty interesting to try out in the corner as well especially off the auto combo because you can act like you're doing something like that and then go for the low just like that or you can cross up and put yourself back on the opposite side like that from the 2-2c version so you can mess around with this and try to come up with some pretty unique situations trying to mix your opponent up off of the teleport from when you actually go behind your opponent from the auto combo off the 2-2c version you can actually get j2c to actually come out and put the opponent on block however jc will not come out so because of that you can actually fake that you're going to do jc and actually go for like a throw like this or you can act like you're going to do it and go for a low like this so it's pretty crazy mind game you can actually play and keep in mind because you do the j22c and the jc you actually still have access to the jump right there and you still have access to your other jump so you can basically do like triple overheads and the last of Uji's special moves is going to be her Air 236 series. So the A version is going to be this diagonal teleport. This can actually cross up the opponent, so that's good to know. And you can pretty much follow up with, like, say, like a throw or going for, like, one of your fastest buttons or a low, like a cross-up low or something like that. So this is going to be a very important tool that you're going to be utilizing a lot. The other one is going to be the B version right here. This is actually going to do the teleport down as well, but it's also going to put her up in the air. So you're going to be airborne when you actually do your attack. You're still going to access to your other air options so you can actually air dash off of it to go for like a double overhead one last thing you should know about ushi's 2-2 series is that where she starts when she goes backwards actually depending on the spacing of where your character would be at if you press a button beforehand so for example if i start right here if i go backwards notice where ushi is standing right so just right in her face this is where she goes however if i press 
5C and I do it, notice how much farther back she is. This is because it's calculating the distance of the pushback that 5C would initially do. So because I would normally start here, technically, when I actually do it, that's why she is this far. So once again, if I do a button, that's why she's this far. It's calculating how much pushback, even though the pushback didn't really occur because you're canceling all the pushback before it actually happens, you're still put at that distance. So this is something to keep in mind, especially when you're doing pressure structures and you're wondering why your 2-2-C is starting all the way out there. Sometimes you may actually be a little bit further out than you anticipated and you may not actually get the angle or something you were looking for. So just keep that in mind. When you're pressing buttons, it's going to be calculating the pushback that the normal will actually do. Now, talking about Ushi's moon skills, her forward BC is going to be a faster version of her overhead from two through six charge B. It's going to be an overhead just like that. And this version is going to be able to be comboed by itself. You don't need to actually do a super to actually combo off of it you can just combo off of it normally down forward bc is going to be similar to her 623a and the fact that it's going to be this upward attack that can also be jump cancel on hit block or whiff the only thing you need to know about this one that is going to be different is that this version can actually hit crouchers and this version for some reason don't so just keep that in mind this version doesn't actually really hit crouchers i don't really use this one that much just because of that one to be honest who she's for bc and what i consider her best moon skill is going to be this multi slash attack upon connection with the opponent is going to cross her up just like this it's also going to cross up in the corner as well this also can be jump cancel on hit block or whiff as well on hit this will launch the opponent and allow you to do a follow-up combo down BC is going to be a faster version of her 2-2C, which is going to allow her to act out of this faster than she can normally from the regular version. And lastly, Ushi's Air Forward BC is going to be this slam down attack right here that can also be followed up for a combo upon successful hit. Now, talking about Ushi's Supers, her 2 6 c Super is going to be this multi-hitting Super where she basically bounces off the opponent. This is actually going to be a plus Super at around plus three, but it is going to be one of those that bounce the opponent up in the air. So they actually can jump cancel. So keep in mind the way you chase your opponent off these plus frames will be according to how they actually try to maneuver because they do have access to a jump cancel. You can actually jump cancel uh, after any point in time after like the second hit. So you can just jump cancel like that. You don't even have to finish the whole thing and you can sort of go for a reset tip off that. 2 and 4 c is going to be one of Ushi's best enders. This is actually going to put you right beside the opponent and it's going to allow us to start doing some of our mix-ups 623c is going to be a dp super that just sort of knocks the opponent down at certain ranges you can actually pick this up for a combo it is pretty difficult though you got to be like really close this is probably one of the supers that you'll probably use the least and ushi's last super is going to be j236c which is going to be the slam down type this does not track the opponent it's just sort of a slam from wherever she is at but if this hits the opponent you can pick this up for additional combo and last thing is Ushi's Arc Drive, which is going to be a full screen super that is going to be invincible up until the point where it actually pretty much comes in contact with the opponent. This is going to be a very good super to deal with things like zoning. So say if a character has something like a laser, you can react to that with the actual super just like that. Or you can actually do this super in the air. So maybe if you're in the air and you see something like that, you can just sort of do it in the air and get a knife with punish on this. This is going to be some nice beefy damage, 3.5k off of a three bar super so basically when ushi has three bars at her disposal anything that the opponent is trying to throw out as far as projectiles and stuff can easily be punished with this character and now that we finally went over ushi's entire kit it's time for me to finally show you guys a few combos and setups to get you started
And that pretty much covers the basics you need to know to play Ushi. Of course, this character will get more developed over time, so there will be more setups and probably more optimizations, but this should be enough to go ahead and get you started. As always, guys, if you like anything you saw here today, drop me a like and leave me a comment below letting me know what you learned from this video. Also, if you found this video helpful, be sure to share it to your fellow Ushi players as it greatly helps me out to get more eyes on these type of character dedicated videos, and I'm sure your friends will thank you for the help as well. If you want to keep up with everything with our community, join our Discord as well, man. We'll love to have you. It's been growing ever since its opening a few days ago so with plenty of fighting game resources to help you out in your improvement. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to know when the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.